Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another game tutorial by Rex Furry. Let's start by getting this out of the way. All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create kind of a secret wall in Game Maker. Now, that's not the best description I give, um, and I can't really figure out um, kind of how to explain what I'm going to be showing you guys today. But um, you can skip to the end of the video to uh, see the final result of this um, of this tutorial and see if that's what you want to learn. And if not, you can just exit off this video or just keep watching it. I don't know if you want to, but uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, anyway, basically, um, what I'm going to show you guys is how to create a uh, object with a sprite, and that um, when your player collides with that object, the sprite of that object turns transparent, so you can kind of see through that object. Okay. So I know that's not again the best description, but uh, you guys, as I said, can go ahead and skip to the end of the video to see what you or uh, er, to see kind of the final result of this video. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get uh, started on the tutorial here. So, yeah. All right. So, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a sprite. And I'm just going to name this, um, let's see, SBR underscore invis. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it invis for invisible. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and go edit sprite and create new sprite. Keep it 32 by 32. Double click on our new blank image. All right. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and make this green, all right? It doesn't matter what color you make it. It just has to be one solid color. All right, hit the green check mark. Hit OK. And I'm going to create one more sprite, and I'm going to name this one SBR underscore player. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing. Edit sprite, create new sprite, keep the width and height 32 by 32 pixels. Hit OK. Double click on our new blank image. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and um, paint this whole thing white for our player. All right, hit OK. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and create two objects. And uh, let's see, one background and one room. All right, so I know that's a lot to, uh, to kind of handle, but don't worry, I'll go through it in just a second. All right, so for our background zero that we just created, uh, I want to go ahead and double click on that. And we don't really need to name it unless you want to. I'm just going to use it for uh, testing purposes or tutorial purposes, rather. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and edit background, zoom in a little bit. And uh, let's see, I'm going to, um, let's see, mm, I guess I'll go ahead and paint it a, a, a nice red color with a little kind of pink color on the inside. That should look pretty nice. Okay, and you can make this whatever design you want. This is just going to be the background, so you can notice that when the blocks turn transparent, the, you can see the uh, kind of the background or whatever. Okay, now on object zero, I'm going to go ahead and name this obj underscore player. All right, and if you already have a player, um, you don't really have to do this. I'm just going to do this so I can show you guys what goes on at the end. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add event, keyboard, left, and so you go like this. And I'm just doing really simple movement right now. So, um, yeah, normally this, you wouldn't really want to do it this way. This is actually a really horrible way. But for a tutorial, I don't really care. All right, and that's all I'm going to do for that. But you do have to have, to have the um, a name for your object, at least. All right, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on our another object right here. Object uh, 1, double-click on there. Or uh, right-click and, whoa. Right click and okay, never mind. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this, and I already did. And I'm going to go ahead and rename this obj underscore invis. All right, and I'm going to choose our invis sprite. And what I'm going to do is actually all you need to do is go add event, step, and go to the control tab, click and drag over the uh, uh, execute code op or action. I don't know, I was going to say option. Anyway, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste this code. And don't worry, I will have this code in the description box if YouTube doesn't take it off for some weird reason. I don't know. I've just had some uh, weird luck with putting GameMaker codes on uh, the description box. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it will work on there, or you guys can try to squint at the screen and look at this. Um, I'll just go ahead and... Okay, never mind. All right, anyway, uh, this is the code right here. It says, if place meeting, um, parenthesis, x... Um, what is that called? Uh, comma, uh, y, comma, obj player, parenthesis. All right, and then I did enter for a uh, new line of code, and then start a block, which is basically a um, oh my gosh, 
Uh, I totally forgot what that is, but it's like a parenthesis, but it's not exactly a parenthesis. Anyway, uh, image underscore alpha equals point fifty, and then another one of those things, and then a uh, enter again. So, and then like on the next line of code, we have else, and then enter again, and then in those things, uh, image underscore alpha equals one. So basically, what this code is saying is if the uh, if place meeting, so if this block is meeting the uh, basically colliding with our player. All right, then it's image alpha, which basically image alpha is transparency. All right, turns to point uh, fifty, so it turns a little invisible or whatever. And if it's not meeting with the player, then it's image alpha equals one, so it's basically not transparent, or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, OK, save changes. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and go to my room zero. Double click to open it, turn off the grid, and I'm going to go ahead and place four of my invisible blocks in the room. My player in the room. Oh, I forgot to go, go ahead and uh, give my player a sprite here. There we go. So put my player in the room. And I'm going to put a tile underneath my four invis objects. All right? And I'm going to run my game, but um, I'm going to switch to a different real, uh, excuse me, view really quick. So I will see you guys in just a second here. Hey guys, I'm back. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way here. All right, so as you can see, we have our little invisible blocks here, our AKA our secret walls and our player. So when I hit the left and right keys on our um, in our game or whatever, my player goes and moves left or right according to which keys I'm pressing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get that mouse out of the way and whoa, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and collide with our invisible blocks now. All right, and there we go. It works. As you can see, when we collide with our invisible blocks, our uh, kind of the screen here turned transparent, and you can see what is behind it. All right, so that's how to create kind of a secret passageway or secret uh, kind of walls in Game Maker. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and uh, there will be more on the way. Also, feel free to subscribe to uh, keep updated on more videos that come um, in the future or whatever. <laughs> All right, so uh, and please feel free to request tutorials. Um, although I do have a lot requested right now, um, I believe another one just got added. So uh, yeah, and also now that I have my um, audio fixed, kind of a little bit more. If anyone uh, that has requested tutorial that hasn't became um, or hasn't got done yet or whatever, don't worry. Um, I will be creating that now that my audio is fixed a lot more. So uh, yeah, all right. So I guess I will see you guys next video, and um, yeah.